about functions in general, what is interesting about functions is the domain of the function, the range of the function, and also the graph of the function. So recall that if y equals to f of x is a function in one variable, then the graph of the function is defined as the set of points in the plane the set of all x comma f of x or y values such that x is in the domain of f. This is a graph in the plane or two dimension. If I add a new variable and define a function in two variables, I'm actually using all of those triples to visualize the function. Now, for z equals to f of x and y, a function in two variables, The graph is defined this way. The graph is the set of all x, y, and z, or the last component, the output, or f of x and y, such that with the condition that you are taking the first two elements from the domain, such that x and y is in the domain of function f. This graph is in the space, in three dimension. In the space, or three. So when you're talking about these types of functions, you actually have this visualization. It's going to be in the space in three dimension. So suppose you have your space, x-axis, you have your y-axis, then you have your z, and then you have your surface. This is the surface that you have. This is actually the set of all of x, y, and z values. For x, y, and f of x, y, such that x and y is in the domain of function f. This is called a surface. A surface in the space. So I expect you to ask, what if my z is equal to zero? What if I look at the projection of this surface in x, y plane? Of course you can do that. It helps us to understand the behavior of this surface a little bit better. So we can project this surface in x, y plane by setting the last component or z equal to zero. If z is equal to zero, then you have the projection here in the plane. This is equal to x, 
y and zero. Your z is equal to zero, such that x and y is in the domain of f. So the projection of your surface in the plane by setting z or the last component equal to zero. Well, another method or another way to actually analyze graphs of functions is actually using level curves. What is the definition of level curves? And how do they find level curves of a function? So suppose you have a function in two free variables. definition of level curves where f of x and y be a function in two free variables. The level curves of f of x and y are curves f of x and y equals to a fixed number like k. So let's write down k with a different color. k is a number. So what are we actually doing? We are setting our z value, our output value equals to a fixed number. And we try to visualize the curves of this function by setting it equals to a fixed number like k. So suppose you have a surface like a mountain. Suppose this is your surface. This is your z equals to f of x and y. When you set z equals to k, some fixed numbers, you're actually fixing the height of this mountain. So for example, this is your k here. You're actually finding this curve. If k is a different number, let's call it k sub 1, and change it to k sub 2, you get another level curve. You're fixing the height, and then you're finding another curve on this surface. These are called level curves of the function. These actually help us to analyze the function when we don't have actual graph of the function. So what are we doing? You're actually cutting the surface by some planes. So suppose you have this surface here, and then you're saying that, hey, what if I cut this surface by some planes? The first plane is this one. Just any plane. When you cut this surface by this plane, it means that your z value is fixed. The height is fixed. So the intersection between this plane and this surface is actually a slice, which is a curve. What is that curve? That curve is going to be this one here. A slice of the planes and your surface. The equation of this plane, this slice, is f of x and y 
equals to fix z value or k because this is just you can change these k values and just find another slice the intersection between the function and the plane here another one get some slices so another interpretation when we are talking about level curves these are level curves these are just curves at specific heights example well in this example we have function f of x and y which is defined as 6 minus x minus 3x minus 2y so change this and question says find level curves When k values are given as minus 6, we have 0, we have 6, and we have 12. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to analyze this graph by looking at the level curves. What are the curves that when you slice some planes with the graph of this function, when k is fixed, negative 6, 0, 6, and 12. So, step 1, set function f of x and y equals to k. So, what is the first k? The first k is equal to negative 6. 6 minus 3x minus 2y equals to minus 6. Our k is equal to minus 6. Step 2, graph it. Graph this curve. Well, okay. This is just equation of a line. 6, let's write it here. We have 12 equals to 3x plus 2y, which is a line. Okay. So we're going to graph this at first. X-axis, Y-axis. So what are we doing? We're looking at these curves in X, Y plane. Remember that you're getting rid of our Z values you're assuming that, hey, our Z values are some fixed numbers. We're looking at the projection of our surface in X, Y plane, and we try to analyze and interpret the result. Very well. So here, we have this guy here, and here we have this. This is six, and this is four. Well, let us connect these two points. This is a line. Which line? 3x plus 2y equals to 12. So we're done with the first k. Let us set k equals to 0. k is equal to 0. What do we have? We have 6 minus 3x minus 2y equals to 0. See the different color so you know it's. What's going on here? Negative six. Now we're moving on to zero. Okay, we have another one. Graph this curve. This is just a line. So we have three x plus two y equals to six. We have a three here. 
I do have it too. Okay, so let's connect these two to get a line parallel to our first line. This is 3x plus 2y equals to 6. So these are level curves. If you continue plug in the rest of the k values, k equals to 6, then k equals to 12, you're going to see that you have these parallel lines lined up next to each other. This is 3x plus 2y equal to 0. Then you get 3x plus 2y equals to negative 6 and so on. These are the level curves for this function. Or if you look at the projection of this function in x, y plane for specific z values, these are the lines representing those projections. These are some of the level curves. So let us take a look at this surface in the space. So this is your surface, 6 minus 3x minus 2y. This is your surface. We are cutting this surface by some lines. Those level curves are just some lines. It gives us projection in x, y plane, and as you saw on the board, those are just some lines. We can use online graphers to actually see different level cares. For example, suppose you have this function or any other function. Here you have, for example, our function that we had, 6 minus 3x minus 2y. And we are trying to find the level curves for our function that we just graphed. So as you can see, if you plug in different values for your k, in this case, in this program, is denoted by c. So suppose I plug in 0. You can plug in different values. You can plug in negative 12 here. get level curves as you can see these lines an x y plane representing the level curves of the plane that you had so this is your plane and these are the level curves the projection in x y plane for specific values of z okay next example for you suppose you have your function 